Oh, thanks for checking out Mr. Webb's videos. And today we're looking at how to write a system of equations for context. So we're going to eventually get there, but I want to go through a few problems just writing equations in context first. So uh, this first one here uh, talks about how Lillian wants to buy kiwi and strawberries to make a fruit tart. Uh, the kiwi costs $3.25 per pound. The strawberries cost $3.50 per pound. How many pounds of fruit does she buy if she buys two pounds of kiwi and 0.5 pounds of strawberries? So that's one question. How many pounds of fruit? Okay. Um, write that here. How many pounds of fruit? All right. And how many pounds of fruit does she buy if she bought X and Y? So basically, um, if you add up the pounds of uh, kiwi and strawberries, that'll tell you everything, right? So we're going to add up the pounds of kiwi, um, which is 2 and 0.5. So the kiwi is 2 plus 0 0.5, which adds up to equal 2.5. Now, if we want to know how much she buys it, it's x pounds or y pounds, which is an unknown amount, we'll just do x plus y. So this is writing the expressions. This is preparing you for writing system of equations. So that's one example of a problem here. Here's another one. Notice how they gave us um, money as well, but we didn't do anything with the money. Let's take a look at this next example. All right. Uh, Carlos and some friends are going to the movies. At the theater, they sell a bag of popcorn for five fifty and a drink for four seventy five. How much would it cost if they bought seven bags of popcorn and four drinks? How much would it cost if they bought P bags of popcorn and D drinks? All right. So here, it's not just the 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 actual amount, but it's the cost of it. So here, we're going to take the cost and multiply it by the number that they're going to buy. So, so the drink uh, or the popcorn is five fifty, and the drink is four seventy five. And notice how they bought four drinks and seven bags of popcorn. All right. So I'm going to take the seven bags of popcorn and multiply that by five fifty. Right, and then I'm going to take the, I'm going to add that with the, the 475 times 4 drinks. Okay, when you add those together, and you get $57.50. Now, then they want to know what do you do if it's P bags of popcorn and D drinks. So they set it up so you know how much the cost would be regardless of how many bags of popcorn and how many drinks you buy. So all we're going to do is replace these sevens and four with P and D. So you have 550 times P plus 475 times. Now, sometimes they are equations, but sometimes they are inequalities. Let's take a look at one of those. All right. So, Josue owns a food truck that sells tacos and burritos. He sells each taco for $4 and each burrito for $8. Josue must sell a minimum of $490, and 90, uh, $490 worth of tacos and burritos each day. That's his goal. So write an inequality that represents the possible values for the number of tacos sold, T, and the number of burritos sold, B, that would satisfy the constraint. So he 
got to get more than 490. Or it could be equal to 40, 490. So I'm going to write that first. It's got to be greater than or equal to 490. All right, so we've got the burritos, um, which are or the tacos are four dollars. So I'm gonna start with the tacos. So the tacos are four dollars. So we're gonna do four times the number of tacos that's about plus um, eight times the number of burritos bought. Okay, so. Um, the number of tacos or burritos have to be multiplied against that. It has to be greater than or equal to 490. Right. Now let's get to the actual system of equations. Because with a system of equations, you're going to end up having two equations. So let's look at one of those. smaller all right so a particular restaurant at a particular restaurant uh, each piece of roll has uh, 50 calories and each onion ring has 70 calories a combination meal with piece of rolls and onion rings has a total of 17 piece of rolls and onion rings all together and contains um, 110 calories write a system of equations that could be used to determine the number of pizza rolls in the combination meal and the number of onion rings in the combination meal. Define the variables that you are used to write the system. So in Delta Math, they give you a little drop down box over here. But right here, they also give you a word bank. These are the things that will be in the drop down box. So you have to pick the correct one. So on this particular one, we're looking at uh, pizza rolls, and onion rings, and calories. So we got the number of pizza rolls and onion rings and the number of calories, each one. So it's best to represent the pizza rolls and the, the uh, onion rings as the number. So the ones with number is the ones we're looking for. We don't want to use the ones with price on this one, okay? So that way we can multiply it times the number of calories, money, whatever. So P represents um, the number of pizza rolls. I'm trying to abbreviate here. And R represents, and you can pick whatever letter you want. We'll just try to pick something that works here. Number of onion rings. All right, now we just got to write the system of equations here. All right, so we know, we don't know how many pizza rolls or onion rings they bought, but we know the total is 117. I mean, it's 17. So I can take the pizza rolls plus the onion rings, add them together, it should be 17. All right, now. Again, we don't know how many pizza rolls and onion rings they are, but we know if we take the, the 50 times the pizza rolls, because it's 50 calories times each pizza roll, plus um, 70 times the number of onion rings bought, it will equal to 110. I'm sorry, 1,010. And then that's our system of equations right there. And in the later uh, video, we're going to do solving them. But for now, that's it. That is how you write a system of equations. I want to thank you for checking out Mr. Webb's videos. Have a nice day.